Hello, my beautiful Sagittarians. How are we? This is Lion Gates Heart Tarot. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for all your beautiful likes, subscribes and notifications. Honestly, you don't know what it does to me when I get a little message from you guys. It just lifts my vibration and makes my day. We are only a week old and I very much appreciate it. So hello to you all. Say hi back to me. And I know you're watching then. So it would be great. So this is for the week of the 21st to the 28th of October. Thank you. Um, please only take what resonates and leave the rest. So they're already coming out. We just need one more for you. Thank you very much. Okay. We have... Oh! The world. Wow. We have the Three of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Well, my Sagittarians, this is going to be beautiful. So, Angel Spirit guys, Angel Spirit guys, can we please clarify the world for my beautiful Sagittarians? Clarify the world, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So that is clarified by the Three of Swords in reverse. Any more for that? Any more for the world? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Thank you. Nearly threw the whole pack on the floor. The chariot. Thank you very much. And three of wands. May we clarify the three of wands. Thank you. The three of wands. Thank you, angel spirit, guys. Three of wands. Ooh, I'm getting very excited tonight, guys. That is clarified by... <laughs> The Seven of Pentacles and Death, they are very active. They are very active. And the Queen of Cups, can we clarify the Queen of Cups without throwing them in my face, preferably, please? Can we clarify the Three of Cups? Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. That is the Two of Wands. Any more for the Three of Cups? Thank you. Oh, we've got the Blimey Charlie. Wow. We've got the Two of Wands, the Emperor, the Wheel of Fortune and the Three of Cups. Well, I'm coming. I'm changing. I'm literally changing star signs, guys. I'm joining your pack. That is absolutely beautiful. So let me just clarify everything in my spirit and then we will take it from there. Can you see everything on camera? Because we've got a few more than we normally would. So <clears throat> let me have a sip of drink so I don't cough. I've been burning so much sage. Right. So we're going to start with the world. The world is a completion of a cycle. It's rewards of labour, success, end of a cycle and the start of another. It's telling you that battles are about to be overcome and you are going to have a new chapter in your life. It can mean you travel in the world and it's internal harmony. And then we have the three of swords in reverse. When we speak about the Three of Swords in reverse, we are talking about you've been in a confused and worried time and you are coming out of that because you are charging forward on the chariot. When we speak of the chariot, the chariot was once the fool at zero and he is now seven. He is in charge of those sphinxes and he is driving himself forward with no fear whatsoever. So he's gone from a zero to a seven. You are taking control. You are moving towards victory, conquest over difficult arts, and it's a force of destiny. It drives you forward. It's again, it's travel. So we, you know, we could be traveling the world. We're moving. You're having a very, very good time. And like I say, I am now turning into your star sign. Um, it's motivation, and sometimes it's unexpected good news coming in as well, because that is also followed by the three of wands. So we've got opportunity, growth, creativity, and that is also a card of luck. So you've got two lucky cards, and it's based telling you your ships are going to come in um you so that's that one and then we're looking at our pentacles okay so when we move to the seven of pentacles we are speaking of planning slow growth long-term plans eventually your hard work will you know pay off um you're watching your pentacles grow currently he's watching his pentacles and his garden grow then we go to death when we speak about death obviously we're talking about transformation again we're talking about a new cycle beginning and um it's your inner self it's a change in which is a blessing it's the clearing of the old and making way for something new sometimes it can mean a major change in your life and this complete rebirth which is absolutely epic because and then we grow with energy which is fantastic and then we go to the queen of cups when we speak about the queen of cups um she is the cup of love 
She's the keeper. She's the influencer. She's an empath. She's sensitive, artistically gifted, loyal and understanding. And, you know, she is bringing, there is love coming into your world, which is absolutely beautiful. And that is clarified by the two of wands. When we speak about the two of wands, we're talking about a beautiful partnership. Okay. So this very much looks like love coming into your world. So it's a beautiful partnership. Um, it's a beautiful card. Uh, it talks about balance. It talks about thinking positive and uh, turning stuff into a reality. So it's a successful partnership and enhancement. And then we have that with the emperor. So it could be an older gentleman, an older lady. Take it as it resonates because obviously uh, male, female, it doesn't matter. Um, and then we go to the emperor. When we speak of the emperor, it's high honour, it's achievement of ambition, it's an older man, it can mean you're, you know, an older gentleman in your life, it could represent a boss or a husband, but we're going down the relationship route. With it being placed with the cups and the two of wands, um, there's an older person coming into your life. And with that comes the wheel of fortune. So this is you're starting a new cycle with this new person, which is absolutely beautiful. The 10 is um, the Wheel of Fortune. It's basically saying a turn for the better for you is coming in. Outside forces, marks of luck again. I would be buying a lottery ticket, quite honestly, <laughs> with all this luck coming into your life. It's the end of a cycle. It's destiny. It's karma. It's everything coming into play. The Wheel of Fortune is spinning. So let's play. And then we've got Three of Cups Energy, which is a beautiful way to end the reading. We have got celebrations. We have got parties, meetings. Sometimes it can represent a pregnancy see sometimes you, it's talking about you going to a wedding christening parties having a beautiful time with beautiful people and celebrating so you are going to have a glorious week guys it just got better and better and better so let's just pull an angel card for you could i have a beautiful angel card please for my gorgeous sagittarians right sagittarius an angel card for my sagittarian energies oh it's so lovely to oh thank you very much Thank you very much. Imagination. Thoughts are building bricks of life, for everything begins with a thought. Add creativity to thoughts and you have imagination. Every castle starts as a castle in the air. This image is then grounded by architects and builders. The angels are inviting you, you to use the power of your creative imagination to expand your, expand your horizons and picture the life you want. Oh. That's lovely. When you hold a vision, the angels see the clarity of your intention and open the doors to help you. The angel wisdom guides you to decide your desired outcomes. Be certain that you have the purest intentions. Then imagine your dreams and start the process of creation. The affirmation is I picture positive outcomes for my highest good. Well, Sagittarius, that is beautiful. Have a beautiful week. I don't need to say any more. Just like, subscribe, please, and share away. And thank you so much for all your, well, all your comments and everything. And I shall see you next week. Have a beautiful and abundant one. I'm sure you will. Bye-bye.